2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime Review. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The hype surrounding battery electric vehicles might lead you to believe that gasoline is going away soon. Our motoring future is undoubtedly an electric one, but infrastructure chokeholds and further product development needs put that realization a few years down the road. In the meantime, plug-in hybrid options make more sense for many buyers than full EVs, and the 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime is among the best of them. Plug-in hybrids are generally more expensive than similar gas-only cars, and their battery packs often intrude on cargo space. And in many cases, the minuscule amount of electric-only range they offer isn't enough to make up for those faults. The RAV4 Prime, though, addresses these complaints head-on with attractive pricing, thanks to its federal tax credit eligibility, equal utility compared to the standard RAV4, and a surprisingly large EV-only range that, for many, could mean only a few trips to the gas stations per year. For many, the RAV4 hybrid still makes the most financial sense, but for those with access to regular home charging and a short commute, we think the Prime is the way to go. The RAV4 Prime's design is a bit of a mixed bag. We admit it's more handsome than the Ford Escape PHEV or Honda CRV hybrid, but it stirs far less emotion than the new Hyundai Tucson, for example. Our test car came in XS e-trim, which carries a $3,300 premium over the lesser la but looks much better. The XS e brings a two-tone paint scheme, in this case, fun supersonic red paint contrasted by a black roof, a pillars, and wheel arches. The 19-inch 5-spoke wheels are also an upgrade and do a good job in making the Prime look more premium and less economy. Inside is a sea of drab black with only a few red accents breaking up the monotone theme. Functionally, the layout is clean with a 9.0-inch touchscreen sitting atop the dash and big HVAC dials directly beneath. There's also a nice storage slot on the dash just ahead of the passenger to stow a phone or other loose items. With a few exceptions, the RAV4 Prime passes the comfortable crossover test with flying colors. Included in the XSE Premium package are nice features like a heated, leather-wrapped steering wheel, heated and ventilated front seats, and heated rear seats. We also appreciated the large panoramic glass roof and a smart key system that allows you to unlock the car with any of the doors, not just the front two. Apart from the steering wheel, this is a leather-free interior. The seats come trimmed in soft techs, which we've complimented many times in the past for being darn near as good as real leather. It's soft, comfortable, and stands up pretty well against a spilled cup of coffee, ask us how we know. The Prime is expensive enough to warrant more seat adjustability than the included 4-way power, but it's still easy to get comfortable, especially thanks to the supportive side bolsters. Cabin space is adequate enough to drive for hours at a time without feeling too cramped. Front passengers get a respectable 37.7 inches of headroom and 41.0 inches of legroom. Those in the back make do with 39.5 inches of headroom and 37.8 inches of legroom. The Ford Escape PHEV does better with interior space, offering 40.0 inches of front headroom, 42.4 inches of front legroom, 39.3 inches of rear headroom, and 38.9 inches of rear legroom.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.